is, this is full-blown leprosy. This is full-blown modern Hansen's disease. This is a great sickness that seems to cover his entire body. When you look in the Old Testament, Leviticus, it talks about different skin conditions. A small pimple on your face or something can be potentially considered eh, leprosy. Just any kind of skin deal. So if we're looking at this from a medical terminology perspective, there are a lot of things in the category of leprosy. He didn't have that. He has it full blown that covers his entire body. I want you to see the disfiguration of his body. I want you to see his hands looking like noobs. I want you to see the monstrosity, the monstrous appearance of his face. I want you to see a body that'll make a mama shake her head. You know, have you ever seen someone uh, that you went to school with, you haven't seen them in 10 years, you go, oh, man, you look so different. But then sometimes you see someone, you can't even recognize them. Sometimes you had the opportunity to see individuals that are so ill, they don't look like themselves. Just an illustration. I can remember the great preacher, Eddie Long, out of, out of Atlanta, and just, man, huge man, big man, big arms and big forearms and nice protruding chest and deltoid, just a big man. And then you see images of his last final days with his sickness, just a frail of himself doesn't appear to be the same person. This man was only recognizable by God. You couldn't look at him and say, that's Tommy over there. You couldn't look at him and say, that's Kathy over there. I want you to see a man covered by the world, covered by sin, covered by evil, covered by hardship, covered by pain, covered by shortcomings. Co covered with failure, covered with despair, depression, a lack of hope, no way out. How does that man, who if he saw a glimpse of himself upon the pool of water, might not want to drink it? Uh, I'm talking about a man that didn't even want to look at himself. Talking about a man couldn't even rub himself and without having what felt like cradles in the moon. I'm talking about a sick man whose society says, stay back. See, when you were a leper, and there are other places in the world we'll look at in this lesson, this series, Life's Blueprint. There are some other lessons we'll look at where they said, unclean, unclean. You had to announce yourself as a failure. Announce yourself as unworthy. Announce yourself as evil. You had to put yourself in a box when you came in contact with other people. What would make him? He would be hurt for this. There's a consequence for this. Now we're not gonna let you do that. In our modern society, if you have a contagious disease, and you know you have a contagious disease, and you maliciously seek to pass that contagious disease to others, that is considered a crime. You go all the way back in this time if you had leprosy, because the, the humanity was at stake. We have to quarantine you. Even today we quarantine. What would make this young man leave his environment of separation 
to come to Jesus. Now, faith cometh by what? And hearing by what? The word of God. So now, Jesus just got finished preaching. Now, Jason, I'm just going to use my, my, my spiritual conclusion. I think one or two things happen. How many? One or two. Now, I think either he snuck up close enough to Jesus, maybe hid in a tree. I'm not sure. But, he, but he, he either snuck up close enough to hear the word. When's the last time you had to get to church? 